I'm the system manager of Kichwa Tembo um, camp of and beyond in the Masamara. Today we're not in the Masamara as you can see, but I snuck through to Nairobi. I've got my hairnet here because I'm visiting a really amazing supplier called Booch. And Booch is making kombucha, one of the new trendy health drinks all around the world. We're going to be serving it at Kichwa Tembo just after we open again. So let's have a look how it's made. So this is the Butch team, my name is Ivy, and this is Esther, this is Maureen, and this is Brenda, she's our production manager. Maureen was one of our, was our first employee. Kombucha is a fermented drink, and so the process is in three stages. We have first brew, second brew, and the straining. So mm -hmm. let me take you through the first brew. And so generally tea is made and this is a water boiler about 30 liters and then we have sugar and the tea this is the oolong tea that we use and so the water is heated to about 80 degrees Celsius and then the tea is put into a nut bag and seeped into the hot water to brew the tea for about an hour or two hours and then the sugar is added then this is allowed to cool for as long as it takes till it gets to 30 degrees Celsius, which is room temperature. The reason for this is because if it's too hot, then it kills the scoby. And so once you have the tea, once you have the hot tea, then it's put into a glass jar because it needs to be airtight. Plastic can be used because it, use, it has perforations, but you can use stainless steel. And so the tea is put into a glass jar, 1.5 liters, and then we add two liters of water and 0.5 liters of the starter liquid. Starter liquid is the tea that has already fermented and is ready, the raw kombucha. And then the scoby is added. A scoby is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. And so the yeast eats up the sugars in the tea to make alcohol and carbon dioxide. And then the alcohol is eaten up by the bacteria to make all these good probiotic microbes and bacteria that are good for your body. And so the tea is, after all this, it is covered with a cloth and put into the fermentation room. So this is the fermentation room. Karibuni, we need to close the door to keep the temperatures inside here constant. And so this is what the butch looks like as it's fermenting. It's been covered with a cloth and a rubber band just to keep it in place to stop any animals or anything from falling into the bush. And so inside here, we have the tea, water, and the starter liquid, and then this is the scoby floating on the top. So you can see bubbles, which means that the scoby is active, yeah? And then we have the scoby hotels. After each fermentation, then the scoby grows. And so we keep all the growing scobies inside these jars with some liquid so that they can keep nourished. We drink kombucha because it's healthy for our bodies, it's good to our gut, it has microbes and all these good probiotics for our body and the biggest of all it's very tasty. The Kenyan market is growing towards the healthier products, the healthier beverages, the healthier foods in the market. And so I think that kombucha plays a really big role in this because we are all more aware of the health of our gut, our immunity, and kombucha is also an immunity booster. And so I think that the trend is more and more towards things that are good for our bodies. Kombucha is definitely a morning drink, preferably and you can incorporate it into your breakfast meal. With the second group, after 10 days, then we take the tea and then we add fruits and ginger and so we can go out and I can show you how this is done. So the second group is done in growlers. These are growlers. And so we take the tea, we take the fermented tea and then we add flavors. All our fruits are Kenyan and local, and so Brenda will weigh the strawberries and then put them into the growler. Different flavors we have are raspberry, strawberry, blueberry is seasonal, and uh, from the uh, syrup. 
Brenda is adding in the fruits. And then she weighs the ginger also. So the goal is to, to encourage the same product all the way. The same quality, the same quantity all the way. And so that's why we tend to use weight. So when adding the raw kombucha, the scoby is removed, inspected, and then taken out. And then so she adds the raw kombucha to the growler. And it's left for two days to flavor. So you can see the raw kombucha when it comes out is very effervescent with a lot of carbonation. This is because the yeast eats up and produces carbon dioxide. That's why it has so many bubbles. And this is how it's going to look like when it's all done. Um, butch. Maisha Maria 